Well, we had a little snow last night at the boathouse here. Kind of unexpected. But it does make for a really pretty landscape. Hi everybody, this is Alex. Welcome to Alex's Boathouse. In this video, we'll be doing the final painting on the 47 Evan Room, 3.3 horsepower. It might be a little boring because all I'm going to do is just uh, be painting the engine, spray painting it. But uh, I wanted to make it part of the video so the whole video is complete from start to finish. At the end of the video, I'll be showing you or telling you how much I spent on uh, paint and sandpaper for this uh, project. So stay tuned for the end and thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Bye. Here's the whole motor all degreased de and ready for primer. Now I use Purple Power and I tell you this stuff works great for degreasing, better than gunk. And the only thing is you can't let it dry. You have to wash it off. Don't let it dry on the parts or it'll leave a film. But as you can see these parts, this power head here was just caked with grease. Completely clean now. Great stuff. Okay, next step is going to be inspecting the parts. And then we will do a little bit of priming. I'm probably going to prime it with three coats and sand in between. Hey, there's my helper. Yeah, Are you gonna help today, huh? And you're just gonna lay around. I can see, I can see what you're gonna do today. Okay, I'm gonna start priming now. Here's the first uh, video. We're gonna start painting. I'm using uh, Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Metallic Aluminum combination uh, paint and primer. This stuff really works really good. I've used it a lot and it's really wonderful paint. Well, here goes. sand it after this and give it two more coats and then uh, a couple of coats of clear and then it'll be really a nice looking one. So I'm going to continue and do all the rest of the parts.
this video I'll be masking off this part of the gas tank which is going to be uh, blue. So I'll do the process on this side. First I want to just rough it up a little bit. The part that I'm going to do. Not too much, just enough so the paint will stick better. I'm going to press it in really good. I just take a, a blade from a, a Stanley knife and you just follow the line around.
Well, here's the tank all ready to be painted blue. That'll be the next step. Then we'll be all done painting. After I paint it, I'll have to sand off the Evernude part so it comes out shiny. I didn't want to mask it. It would be too much work. Now I'm just going to clean up the uh, letters with some 400 sandpaper.
and that's it. One restored Evernood gas tank. All done with Rust-Oleum over-the-counter paint. Hi, this is Alex again. Well, that's the uh, end of the painting video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Some of it was a little boring, but the end of it was quite interesting, I thought. The gas tank came out really nice. Looks like right from the factory. It's really pretty. Really, really came out good. Now, like I said, I was going to tell you how much I spent on the motor. Well, three cans of Rust-Oleum, the uh, metallic aluminum, that was $18 for three cans. One can of uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Lagoon, which was almost a perfect match for the blue that was on the engine, that was $5. I got that through Amazon. And I had uh, about $6 worth of sandpaper. So the total was $29 for all the material for the motor. I didn't keep track of the labor because uh, uh, I just didn't want to keep track of it. I spent a lot of time on it, but I love doing it, so I don't keep track of the time. So that's uh, the end of the painting video. The next video will be the assembly of the motor um, all the way up. It might take two uh, videos to do that because of the uh, magneto part of it. I'm waiting on a part for that. But uh, that'll be the video. So thanks for watching. I'm getting some people to subscribe and I'm getting some viewers and I appreciate it. And I really enjoy doing these videos. And I'm going to be doing uh, some more on a uh, 1947 Garwood boat that I'm uh, currently restoring. That's up in Minnesota. So when we go there in the springtime, I'll start that video. Also, I'm restoring a uh, 1965 18-foot Dumphy boat. And uh, I have videos on that too. I started that last year, so I will be doing that in the springtime also.